Welcome to the Idiot Box. This is House of the Dragon Episode 2. The episode starts six months later, in the aftermath of a battle in the Stepstones where crabs are feeding on alive humans. Back in the King's Landing, the small council discusses about selection of a new King's Guard. Lord Corleys barges in and tells them about the situation in Stepstones. He urges them to launch a counterattack against the pirate leader named Crab Feeder, but the council refuses to take any action. As the pirates are backed by the free cities and Essos, they don't want open war. Corlys also asks how Daemon has seized Dragonstone without any opposition from the Crown. Rhaenyra suggests sending dragon riders to the Stepstones as a show of force. At least the princess has a plan. But her advice is disregarded and instead she is asked to choose the new King's Guard. After interviewing some candidates, Rhaenyra selects Sir Criston Cole because of his combat experience. Alicent is spending more and more time with Viserys where he discusses Rhaenyra's rebellious nature. You do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? Viserys meets up with Corlys and Rhaenys in private, where the couple propose the king to remarry and offer up their own daughter, Lena. Viserys discusses about the proposal with Hightower as Maester treats his finger that he cut while on the Iron Throne. Hightower tells him remarriage is indeed a wise decision. On his hand's advice, Viserys meets up with Lena, who is just too young. It would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in Old Valeria. I would give you many children of pure Valerian blood so that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Then, I am so grossed out right now. An emergency council is held in which a dragon keeper reveals that Damon has stolen a dragon egg and left a note telling he is taking a second wife who is already pregnant and the dragon egg is to be kept in the infant's cradle as custom. Rhaenyra is angered when she learns that the dragon egg that Daemon stole is the same egg she picked for his brother Balon. Viserys decides to go to Dragonstone for the egg, but Hightower volunteers instead. Hightower reaches Dragonstone but is met by Daemon outside the castle walls. The argument results in both parties drawing their swords. <laughs> The standoff is broken with the arrival of Damon's dragon. <laughs> Hightower tells his men to stand down. Rhaenyra makes a surprise entrance on her dragon. She catches Damon in his lies about the marriage and the baby. She asks Damon if he really wants to be a king, then all he has to do is kill her. Damon returns the dragon egg without a single word, and Rhaenyra flies off like a boss. <laughs> Viserys asks for advice from Lord Lionel, the Master of Laws, about the marriage proposal to which Lionel's suggestion is to accept the offer in order to make Corlys a permanent ally. He learns that Rhaenyra had went to Dragonstone without his permission, but approves of the way she handled the situation. They reconcile after discussing about her mother, and Rhaenyra tells that she has no problem if Viserys were to remarry. At the next council, Viserys tells that he had decided to remarry and the person he chooses is the Lady Alice and Hightower, before spring's end. I saw that coming from a mile away. This angers Corleys. This is an absurdity. And he storms off. Rhaenyra is shocked with this revelation and leaves. Later, Corleys secretly meets with Daemon and tells him if he wants to show the kingdom that he is fit to be king, he should prove himself by taking out the threat in the Stepstones. It was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. The episode ends with the view of Stepstones, and we get to see the crab feeder. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more.